Recently in a lot of comments and subreddits, I've seen the discussion of the A5X and the A5X2. If you haven't seen yet, the A5X2 has now been announced for September, and so we should probably expect an announcement of it soon to see some of the new features, and then finally get a kind of actual release in September, or maybe late September. I will be getting one, so I can definitely share more opinions when I may know more about it, and then when I get it as well. But there's been this kind of debate of whether I should get an A5X now, save some money, or if it's worth waiting for the A5X too. And so I kind of want to discuss some of those things you need to consider when evaluating that option. I'm kind of on a long road trip right now, and I <laughs> needed a little break from music and podcasts, so hopefully I can uh, record this and you can hear me okay. Starting out with the A5X2, I think the price over the long term is something you need to consider with the A5X2 because over time that's something that you can upgrade and when your battery dies you can replace that if a new chip comes out for it, um, memory card for example. So that's certainly a factor that while you might save 300 bucks or something like that now on an A5X, over the long term if in two years you need to replace that A5X. The A5X2 will have a much longer lifespan. My guess would be like five to 10 years, although it could be longer, who knows. But that's certainly something that's a factor and you might save some money now, but in the long term, you might end up spending more for it because you need to just get a whole new device at some point. I've seen the used A5Xs around the 300 to 400 price point, depending on where you kind of buy it from and how many accessories it comes with. Then the other thing you need to consider with the A5X2, we don't know all the features it's gonna have, but we can likely kind of gather it's gonna be pretty similar to the Nomad. But my guess would be that it will have a Carta 1300 screen, given that we're starting to see a lot of devices come out with that screen, maybe around the 10.65 inch, because that seems to be the standard for the, the A5X panel of the Carta 1300. So that, that could certainly be a panel we'll see. This is just speculation, by the way, but the other thing you need to consider is also a warranty and you are likely not gonna get that with the A5X. I think some of the benefits of buying used, and I'm a big proponent of buying used because it saves on e-waste and it's just a lot cheaper in general if you get a working device, and that's the big caveat, right? So if you're gonna buy something like this, I think searching the Facebook groups, I'll try to link one below that does like use super note sales, that's a good option and probably you can see if the person you're buying from is a little more reputable on the Facebook group. And the other option I'd say would be eBay. I'd be weary of some other sites, but eBay is good because if you buy one that has a refund policy, it's typically 30 days, sometimes a little longer, but you can at least get the device, see if it works. If it doesn't, you have a peace of mind of being able to return it. I've gotten burned on things on eBay before where I bought it with no return policy, so I kind of learned my lesson there. That's a good option if you are going to buy the used route. Supernote has said that they don't really want to create e-waste, and they do seem to be supporting the A5X software. The A5X is getting all the updates that the A6X2 has gotten uh, with the new kind of Atelier app. I think particularly the next couple weeks is probably a bad time to buy the A5X though, because you can imagine when the A5X2 announcement comes or it gets actually released, the prices for the A5X are probably gonna drop. You know, this is something you see around the market, you see it with like cars when new car models come out. So I think now is actually a bad time to buy. I think the price will drop when the A5X2 is either announced or definitely when it's released and you'll be finding people offloading those that want to upgrade. The A5X2 does seem to be a very highly anticipated device. Like I've been seeing the, the Reddit comments for months about people like, oh, should I wait, should I get it? Uh, to the point where I even made a video about whether the A6X2 is too small or if you should wait for the A5X2. I'll link that above if you want to check that out. But it is a very common topic and I think people are expecting the A5X2 to be really good and I am too. I think one of the reasons the Books Go 10.3 and the new V Woods AI paper, which I'm going to be getting a model of too, have been selling so well or have gotten a lot of backing is because there's a stopgap in the kind of A5 size right now. Like Remarkable 2 
we've never heard anything about a Remarkable 3 or any rumors really, it's well overdue. And Super Note has been delayed with the A5X2. We now have a concrete date, but that has been kind of the reason why a lot of people have tried to see if they should get an A5X. And then the other downside with the used A5X is you don't get a warranty. So if you buy it on eBay and you have a third day return policy, you you know can see if it works, but if it breaks in a year, you're shit out of luck and you need to get a new device. One of the potential benefits I see of buying an A5X is that some people do say they prefer Feelright 1. I personally prefer Feelright 2. I've only tried Feelright 1 once, but you will likely get a device if you buy an A5X with Feelright 1 because they only made, after a certain serial number, ones that came with Feelright 2, which is much smaller than the amount of time that they produced the A5X with Feelright 1. So you would actually get to try Feelright 1, see if you like it, and if not, you can buy a $50 screen protector, Feelright 2, and apply it to the device. So you get that kind of option of seeing which one you prefer. So that's kind of my breakdown of whether you should wait or not, or buy a used device and save some money now. Like I said, it could cost you more in the long term. If you can think of any other kind of points of A5X versus A5X2, leave them in the comments below. I'm pretty sure it'd be helpful for people to hear other opinions as well, or maybe things I didn't think about. But thanks for watching, and I'll leave